guy that I was on the phone with that called me a scammer. Well, I turned it around on him and I said, hey, you remember at the first conversation, when we first started this conversation, I told you that you could tell me no, you didn't have to, you know, you know, lie to me or anything like that. It's okay if you're uncomfortable, you can tell me no. It seems like that's what you're trying to say to me, Mr. Homeowner. Is that correct? Is, is, is this over? Are you telling me no? Hey, I'm Justin Chimnitz, and this is the Real Estate Wholesalers Club, where we're all about getting you to that first deal shut up money, that first deal paycheck that tells your doubts and your fears and all of the naysayers and haters, hey, this really works. Shut up. Today, I want to talk about what scares people the most about real estate investing and wholesaling, and that is getting on the phone, okay? How do you get on the phone? Do you have a script, Justin? No, I don't have a word-for-word -word script because I don't know exactly the order that these folks are going to throw these objections at you in. But what I do have is I have a nice three-part formula that does not fail, okay? It works, and today I want to talk about the first step in this phone conversation with the homeowner, the seller conversation. The first step in the conversation is setting the agenda, and that is what is going to save your butt, right? <laughs> if the conversation starts getting tough, you're going to be able to refer back to this agenda, the setting the agenda for the conversation. That's step one. Let's dive in and talk about setting the agenda right now. Shut up, money. Yeah. All right. The first part of setting the agenda when talking to a homeowner for the first time. Now, many of you are out there generating leads on the automated REI. Many of you are out there scraping the Zillow, Craigslist that way, blasting text blasts out to these people and getting yes, no, and maybe responses. If you wonder what that yes, no, and maybe is about, well, you got to check us out at wholesaler, real, realestatewholesalersclub.com because we got some free training for you over there. And adding just a simple yes, no, and maybe to the end of your text blast really kind of triggers like a Pavlovian response in these people and they they begin basically responding to you via text yes no and maybe I like to just get simple yeses and no's and maybes now the no's I'm not going to talk to right but the yeses and the maybes I definitely want to talk to so I'm gonna have to really get my conversation down when I talk to these yeses and maybes and that's what we're diving in today number the first step number one phase of this conversation is to have set the agenda for the call with the homeowner now let's talk about that for a moment when you're setting the agenda for with the call uh, with the homeowner on this call this is what it sounds like it sounds like something like this hi yeah this is Justin I'm a real estate investor and I'm looking for my next investment property I saw this one online and it looked interesting to me so I thought I would give you a call and talk to you about it is this a good time okay great what I'd like to do is I'd like to ask you a few questions you can ask me a few questions and if any at any point during the conversation here you feel uncomfortable or like this is not something that's gonna work for you it's okay to tell me no now you see I've already set the stage I told them who I am and what I'm looking to accomplish. I also shared with them that my goal is to simply just ask them a few questions. They can ask me a few questions. And then if at any point during the conversation they feel uncomfortable, they can simply say no. Many times you can follow it up with a statement like this or say it in your own words. If what I'm saying doesn't seem interesting to you at any point, you can just fire me right then and there. You can tell me no, you won't hurt my feelings. You don't have to tell me you're gonna think about it or anything like that. It's okay, I'm a big boy, just tell me it doesn't work, you're not interested. Does that seem fair? I have never, literally, never, ever, ever in my life asked that question of a homeowner on the phone call and had them tell me no, that doesn't seem fair. Of course it seems fair. It definitely seems fair because I'm not asking them for much. I'm just asking them to let me ask a few questions. They can ask me a few questions, and if at any point during the conversation they feel uncomfortable, they have the right to fire me or let me go right there. The reason why I set the agenda this way is because this is what saves my tuchus, right? If the conversation gets tough, I'll give you an example. The other day, 
I had a homeowner on the phone with me and he was telling me this offer that you're talking about uh, these these things that you're asking me about it seems like to me you're one of these scammers okay isn't that a great feeling when a homeowner or somebody that you're talking to on the phone calls you a scammer isn't that something great don't you love that well I used to used to used to hate it now I don't mind it so bad because now I set the agenda for the call so what I was able to say to this homeowner is hey listen I understand your apprehension and there probably is a lot of scammers out there but remember like I told you when we first got on the phone that that I just I'm a real estate investor I'm looking for my next investment property and if there's anything that I say or anything along the lines of this conversation that makes you feel uncomfortable you can just tell me no now if you think I'm a scam it sounds to me like we're basically through here is that right now when I said that to the homeowner you might suspect the homeowner was a little bit taken off balance now he was expecting me to go into mr. defensive and explaining mode oh no this is who I am this is what I do this is who I work with this is why I'm not a scam let me prove it to you but in reality I just took it to an adult level and I said hey listen like I said at the beginning of the conversation mr. homeowner it's okay for you to tell me no if you feel like I'm a scam that's that's okay that's your prerogative I'm just a real estate investor looking for my next investment property and I wanted to ask you a few questions about this one but it seems like maybe I've done something to offend you or something along the line has made you feel uncomfortable and it's okay now if you tell me no is that really what you're trying to say now when I said that because I had set the agenda before it allowed me to say that okay now most of the time this is the worst case scenario right these sellers are not really this hard but every now and then you'll run up against a tough one and the tough ones if you've set the agenda like this it's easy for you to remind them that you're just a real estate investor looking for your next investment property and that it's okay for them to tell you no all right most of my students when they're struggling on the phone I've come to realize that it's because they're failing to set the agenda for the call right away once you get a homeowner on the phone you're calling a good lead you want to set the agenda let them know who you are what you're doing and that you're going to ask them a few questions they're going to ask you a few questions and that if at any point during the conversation they feel uncomfortable they can just simply say no they don't have to lie to you and tell you they're gonna think about it or come up with some big excuse or accuse you of being a scammer it's okay they can say no now I bet you're wondering how that ended with the guy that I was on the phone with that called me a scammer well I turned it around on him and I said hey you remember at the first conversation when we first started this conversation I told you that you could tell me no you didn't have to you know you know lie to me or anything like that it's okay if you're uncomfortable you can tell me no it seems like that's what you're trying to say to me mr. homeowner is that correct is, is this over are you telling me no and there was a pause for about three seconds and then all of a sudden he turns around 180 and he says well I don't know I don't know if I like your offer or not okay so see now we're not talking about me being a scammer anymore we're talking about my offer again so then I asked him a couple more questions he asked me a couple more questions I got his email address boom sending my written offer guys you can take somebody that's down here on motivation level calling you a scammer and if you set the agenda you can turn it right around like an adult and have an adult conversation with them and you can basically take them if they're in a position of, of having motivation at all and raise that motivation level up to now where you can get to the real heart of the matter but if you're jumping into these conversations and you're not setting the agenda then in the middle of the conversation somewhere I can almost guarantee you that the homeowner is taking over the conversation taking it back away from you and you get you you default into explainer mode and defensive mode and that does not win deals okay so just remember all right when you're calling homeowner leads to always set the agenda first it will save your rump it will save your took us if the conversation starts to go south a little bit you'll be able then to go right back to being the adult and staying in charge 
of the conversation, which is really what you want to, to accomplish. You want to get on the call, you want to get what, done what needs to be done, and get off the phone and get your offer in their hand. That's the goal without taking a lot of abuse. And if you're taking abuse, I'm sure it's because you're not setting the agenda at the beginning of the call. Remember, my name is Justin. I'm a real estate investor. I'm looking for my next property deal. I saw this one online. I thought I would call you. It interested me. I wanted to ask you a few questions and you can ask me a few questions and then if anything along the conversation uh, seems uncomfortable for you or you don't like it, it's okay to tell me no. Does that sound okay to you, Mr. or Mrs. Homeowner? And when they say yes to that, now you have set the agenda for a call, a great call, where you can ask the questions that you need to ask and you can get down to the heart of the matter without fear that they're going to come back and eat you alive right there on the phone. All right, realestatewholesalersclub.com. Like and subscribe down here, guys. Check us out over there at the website. We have a lot of freebies for you. We have a lot of great resources, a lot of great groups going on, too, that you can plug into and, and share and fellowship with each other and learn and grow together. All right, remember, I love you. And real estate wholesaling is always, always, always better than a job. Now that I've said that, let me rewind real quick. You're still with me. I want you to know that you don't have to do this journey alone. Check us out over at realestatewholesalersclub.com. Get some free training. Get some free, you know, men mentoring with each other and growing with each other. Gosh, isn't that what it's all about? All right. We love it. I love it. If you're not doing it, I don't know. That's you. That's on you. Shut up. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.